Oh, just very happy for this young team to uh, to get them in here today in 2014. So uh, pretty much that's all I can say about that. I was really proud of them. Coach Howell, do it for bounce back. <sighs> back in that win column after the three straight. Yeah, and just playing with passion. I think that's what was, you know, you're scratching your head with. Because that, you know, you you want them to keep fighting, not get their head down. You know, the ups and downs of, of a game. But then you got to get that one to build that confidence. So just proud of them like, hanging on, even though they got a little, a little crazy down the stretch. But, um, you know, they have been working hard. They've been learning from their mistakes, and then they got to pay off today. Kelly, career high from you. What's going through your mind? You had to hit those free throws in the last few seconds. Well, um, practice pays off, I would say. Uh, we do free throw deals like every day in practice. Um, I just thought about, you know, making it, knocking it down for my team. I thought about how important it was, you know, how important this win was to our team and Coach K. Um, being a freshman, I didn't want to let anybody down. So I knew what I had to do. And so I just took my time and and she said she was going to make them at the timeout. Yeah. She said, I'm going to make my two free throws. So, I mean, that type of confidence is uh, a lot, of, lot to uh, thrive with, right? And a lot of motivation. So, Coach, what do you think of Crystal's play once again today? I mean, I, <laughs> there were times I, I, I did. I said, she's playing like a rock star. I mean, as I'm coaching her, I mean, you uh, don't think I had that. You know, I've had great, obviously, point guards. I've been lucky. Ken Stravio, obviously. Andriana, you guys know what she brings to the table all the time, and then now I have a freshman to kind of go into the point guard legacy. I mean, there was just times I, I just I was amazed at some of the things that she does, and I think if you're playing with her, you better be ready to catch the ball, no matter yeah. if it's coming this way or that way. And there's been games she's done two or three behind the backs after she's gone in there with bigs, and even when she did that one to Kelly, I mean Kelly was kind of ready if it didn't go to her to her feet because they play with her every day in practice. So um, just just so proud of her. Um, everything that you think she can't do, she uh, does on the floor. Uh, you know, with her maybe lack of size or this or that, and uh, certainly is um, a catalyst along with Ayla Ayla Furby. And then this senior here, I kept running things toward her. Knew that shot was going to keep falling. Kept running them again. Actually, I ran a lot for her today, and uh, and you know when he did, and she had big shots when we needed them, and she was calling plays for herself at times and, and things like that. That's that's the leadership I need on the floor. Yeah, you know, a couple times spoke to Crystal after some of these passes. What was conversations like get back on the same page? Just trying to calm down, not get too frustrated. Because she's the point guard, and, you know, the point guard is the leader on the court, so she gets frustrated, you know, kind of triples down, so we don't need that. You know, we were fine. Of course, we make mistakes, you know, just it's how you, you know, bounce back after it. So I just told her to calm down and just relax. She didn't get the next one, and she did. From a player's perspective, what did you see different from this game compared to where you guys were the last couple of days? Everybody was on the same page, same mm -hmm. mindset. Um, we've had very good practices, but we've had numerous talks before and after practice of what we need to do, and we know what kind of team we can be. It's just a matter of everybody chiming in, everybody buying into our bottom. Coach, you hold them 39% from the field, and they normally shoot 48%. They're one of the best in the country. How, how did you play them on defense that worked so well? Well, we were, I mean, obviously, you know, we play man to man pretty well, but, you know, against this team, it was smart because of their size and because of the way fouls get caught a lot to not try to gamble too much. And they really balled in and were moving like crazy in the 2 3, communicating. I mean, that was. You know, the big thing is if you're going to be moving and going, you got to talk and trust that your teammate's going to have your back. And uh, so that, that, you know, that scrambling, we scrambled. There were times I said, just switch places, whether you're playing the matchup, 2-3 or not, with the back line. And, you know, things like that to combat, you know, the size that they had. And they were just throwing up to the rim. That's the first time for us, you know, probably since I've been here against size like that. And then how they play a little NBA-ish with, you know, some of their sets. So, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a challenge defensively. And I thought our team really, really, uh, really met it tonight. And, you know, so we stayed in, did little things a little unconventional at times, but uh, it worked because they made it work, you know. So that's, that's the good thing. With the final of the conference game, probably, I would say maybe half of the <clears throat> CAA teams, this Albany team was more, better than what we yeah. have seen. So, uh, you know, how big is it just to come away with a win like this, you know, going into conference play now on Sunday against Delaware? It's just a confirmation for these guys. You know, we are eternally optimistic as a coaching staff. We see what everyone can be and just trying to get them to start um, you know, playing with their potential, and, and they, you know, I think that it's going to be another challenge and constant challenge as we go along and on the road and those kind of things. But you know, it's um, it's just them just believing and trusting their teammates and uh, playing like a team. And I think that's been our biggest our biggest point of emphasis. Just talk about maintaining your composure, just for everybody. Just you know, down the stretch, it was just really back and forth in a battle, just for everybody. Just talk about like how do you stay mentally ready and just up in a type of game like that? Because you could easily get down. Well, I mean, you see these people in practice trying to separate themselves, and I've been talking about it in practice a lot. Like, you know, don't hold back. We are a young team, and 
you know, when, when we, and being a player, having that competitive mindset, um, you just do it. I know Kelly can speak for this, AO, you know, I, you know, I've been trying to recruit people like that that have that type of mentality that, you know, stays cool hand Luke during every tough situation and, uh, you know, they did it. I'm sure they don't know what cool hand Luke is, but uh, Dino does. <laughs> Tell me to keep talking, but we're ready. I think that basically like having each other's backs on the floor, you know, talking to each other, having a leader like AL and playing with someone like that, it gives you a lot of confidence. Like for me being a freshman, I look up to her, so like she gives me a lot of confidence. She she brings us together. She br she holds our team together. So having someone like that on the floor is really important. You know, when everybody's pitching and everyone's talking to each other, like it's okay, it's okay. Like it's a game. Basketball is a game of runs. Like we have to know. We just don't let up. Like we're taught every day in practice to not back down from anyone. And I don't, and I think that's what we did tonight. So, uh, to piggyback off what Kelly said, um, being a senior and having the underclassmen who want to learn and who are willing, to, like eager to listen, makes my job so much easier. Like I can't take the credit for being like it helps to be a leader when you have people that want to, you know, do the same thing and get to the same goal as you. So, you know, I, I'm I'm grateful for my team, and I'm I'm just excited to see what conference brings us. Anything else?